Okay, thank you very much. <coughs> so, um, let me now start with uh, ellipse with the group. Um, uh, well, if fine dimensional, you can always talk about group, but sometimes also even fine dimensional, it's it's convenient to talk about uh, pseudo group because uh, like when you integrate uh, Lie algebra uh, fields may be not incomplete. Uh, so uh, which will be uh, understood uh, either that um, this can be symmetry of equations can be also considered as gauge group. Uh, I will be interested in consider what is quotient of equation by by the group. Um, and compute its dimensional characteristics similar to what we did before by the identifying uh, uh, solutions uh, according to group G. Okay, um, for this, uh, uh, well, we pass to uh, absolute scale differential invariance, uh, and these are uh, functions constant on global orbits of the action. Um, Classically, people consider this uh, uh, local, but it's maybe proper to say micro-local because it was considered near the point um, of uh, uh, engine space. And um, this, of course, locally all foliations look the same, but you have to consider actually global uh, um, uh, orbits. Even if it's filter group, you can, of course, also talk about global orbits of the action. Uh, and if the group is algebraic and transitive on M, over well, the base of equation, then the invariance can and will be assumed rational in jets. So transitive is clear, uh, algebraic means that um, the equation is given by, um, well, uh, the, the defining equations are algebraic in jets. Yes? So the group of the Pseudo-group-as-a-yeah-I-mean-pseudo-group-even-if-it's-fine-dimensional-also-convenient-to-think-about-pseudo-group-sometimes-you-do-not-complete-necessities-but-in-infinite-dimensions-as-already-initial-
careful here. I'll show some example. Okay, so, well, um, uh, going to algebraic geometry, it just recalls that Hilbert, Nulls, and Alsatz make projection between uh, algebraic varieties and ideals of functions, vanishing of them, so like this defining thing. So there's a very similar story in here. So uh, algebraic differential uh, equations um, Um, uh, so, 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 al algebraic pseudo groups. Sorry, it's it's, it's type and, and the the uh, differential invariants. Uh, well, um, okay, no, sorry. So, so that's correct. So, so, so there's uh, algebraic differential equations considered as subsets and jets, and differential ideal defining them. That's what something that I discussed before. Um, all right, uh, and. Um, in particular, when we uh, talk about um, uh, uh, equation defining pseudo group, that's the equation, right? It also can be defined uh, through differential ideals. This will be precisely differential invariance. Okay, uh, uh, and this is nice correspondence. However, one has to be careful uh, of generalizing um, other stuff, convenient stuff from. Um, uh, from community algebra, for example, differential Grobner basis, there were attempts to, to do this. Well, you, you just take notion of Grobner basis, which is kind of convenient, at least theoretical tool in a community algebra, and you can produce corresponding differential notion, but these objects may, may turn out to be infinite. Do you uh, so, so it's equations which, which have uh, which algebra depends on jet. For example, uh, 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 single equation, ux, y equal to uh, sinus, that's algebraic, even though you see sinus, because it, this is zero jets, so if you go high and jets, it's really algebraic. Mm -hmm. uh, affine bundles. Yes, yes, because there's affine structure, so it's natural to talk about uh, algebraic, there's this coordinate independent thing, right? So, because base, we I don't assume anything about base, like oh, actually about J0, but then we have a fine structure in the bundles. In, can you give an example of non algebraic equation? Yes, yes, there's, um, for example, uh, integrable equations of this kind exponent uxx plus exponent uyy equal to exponent uttt. Okay, uh, that's one of the distortions and terrible equations, and you can easily see it's not. Okay. okay, so, um, well, uh, there are still some finiteness, even though, like, some object like differential Grubner base that do not exist because we have um, a Carton Coronish theorem, and uh, so, so it guarantees actually finite generation. Um, well, in analytic context and sufficiently regular context. Um, and um, when we talk about uh, the structure of A, then actually we can have some d module structure, right? Uh, talking about differential algebra. And this is given by invariant derivations. So, so now I talk about invariant stories. There are uh, leaps of the group staying uh, behind. Uh, and um, uh, uh, so, so what is this invariant derivation? That's vector fields on um, infinitely prolonged equation. So this this are combination of well, that's that's first order operator in total derivatives. So basically, total derivatives times some functions in jets, which are invariant. Well, hand up pseudo group. So so you can do this interchange. And from this equation, you can clearly see that they uh, map differential invariance to differential invariance. Okay, and um, uh, here is an example, um, a kind of school example, because uh, it's curves in the plane. Uh, so, so the, the uh, manifold is so well, just uh, plane is coordinate x, y. Uh, we can say jets of all curves. So, uh, well, curves are one dimension of this notation, j infinity m1. Uh, or just locally, you can write any curve as y function of x. So it's maps from a with x coordinate to r with y coordinate. And the group is just group of motion, and I take it connected to, uh, for, for convenience. Um, and then we know that uh, there is curvature and there is uh, derivation by nature, differentiation by natural parameters, which have those formulae. 
and those are not invariants, right? Because I already stated before that they have to be rational. You see actually uh, uh, some power, uh, which is three over two, and well, actually it's not. Well, it's it, it's a bit funny situation here. If you take lead derivative actually uh, uh, for for the vector fields from the Lie algebra, we'll get zero. Uh, however, they're still not invariant, and it's easy to see because if you actually make rotation by pi, x go to minus x, y go to minus y, then you see k, k changes psi, and differentiation also changes psi. So it's not invariant with respect to group. Okay, so proper actually things will be k square and derivations will be actually second order and do this combination uh, k times uh, d by ds. And uh, these are actually generators of the algebra of differential invariants. Okay, and they are rational in detail. Okay, so uh, um, uh, consider now um, um, uh, an algebraic action of pseudo group on formally integrable irreducible differential equation. Or since say it algebraic, it's actually convenient to assume irreducible uh, here. Uh, and again, the GF transitively on the base. Just as, uh, because it's algebraic, right? So it's one component. If you split in several components, you can treat each one individually. Um, and so here is my theorem. theorem. Um, yeah, that's uh, uh, joint with uh, Valentin Luchagin. Uh, we, we call it global literacy theorem. Yes, it's publication data. Um, uh, so, so there exists a number, uh, uh, and the risky closed invariant proper subset uh, S inside E on the level of L jets. So that's the algebra A of differential invariance on infinite prolonged equation. Uh, uh, it separates orbits from uh, E infinitely prolonged. Uh, in the complement to pre-image of this bad set. So, so singularities actually, this SL is set singularities, they live just on finite jet. It's kind of also theorem stating finiteness of singularities. You just take pre-image and nothing more appears. Um, and this algebra uh, in this set uh, finally generates, uh, uh, it's finally generated in the following sense. We just need find number of functions and find number of derivations. Well, all, all are rational invariant. Uh, and, um, and then you can do, well, usual algebraic operation with invariants and also derivations uh, 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 of this i in directions of numbers as many times as you want. Okay, so that's uh, finiteness of, of generations. Okay, so um, sometimes these, um, uh, sometimes these uh, nablas uh, can can be taken commuting. Uh, so, so usually they are not. There's uh, some structural relation between them, definitely structure co co coefficients, also invariants. Um, but uh, sometimes you can choose them commutative. Uh, this may result in higher order and more complicated formula. So that's not desirable sometimes. But uh, but the, the good thing is that. Uh, this can be considered as just partial derivative by some other invariants. So you can say, well, you have some number of invariants. You, you, you say one are like independent, while like dependent, and you differentiate one by the others. So, um, yeah. uh, uh, okay. Um, and this actually has relation to, to, to solution to equivalence problem. So now let me tell how, how with, this, with the help of this, we can solve equivalence problem for solution of equations, right? I, I just made the general setup, but you can think the equation is Lie equation, for example, and uh, you would like to, uh, to distinguish some geometric structures. So the, the poles of rational invariance, they give some singular orbits, right? But do I remember correctly, they're not unique. You can choose in different ways. Or how is it? Well, how so the, what are the ambiguities you've chosen these poles? So, so, so if you talk about this set S, which we have to remove, clearly uh, orbits of lower dimensions and non-closed orbits have to be removed. And uh, and because of algebraic, um, algebraic assumptions, that's actually a small set. But actually, for generations, sometimes you have to move also good orbits. Uh, not very many. No, it, it, it depends on our choice of basis. Sometimes just choice of basis uh, uh, dictates to remove a bit more. 
but still, like in the risky sense, uh, majority of space is left. We, we, we do want the risky open set, but it's just choice of invariance made from somewhere dependent. And yeah, yeah. then you cannot separate the axis ratio. Yeah, but you can patch actually use some other invariance to cover the space. You can think like this is as, as different targets. Um, okay, so um, well. And actually, um, uh, just just uh, a bit addition to the above theorem. So if you consider action on the complement to the singularity set, uh, so the action is regular, so that all orbits are actually closed in here, uh, have the same dimension and uh, algebraically fibre by the space. So you have actually rational geometric quotient. We, we, yes, so, so, so quotients are complicated. Uh, in principle, uh, for, for, for even for algebraic actions, but uh, th this one is nice when you remove singularities. Yeah. You can think, for example, about uh, a ray foliation of, uh, of, of, of Euclidean space, uh, uh, right? So, so it, it has singularity and all orbits are actually non-closed, but when you remove singular point origin, actually all orbits become, become closed. And you have nice uh, a nice foliation. Okay. Um, now, uh, so so we have this quotient, and actually we 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 can do uh, again projective limit, and that actually has some structure of well, kind of locally differential equations. That's that's what uh, um, people in the school of Vinogradov call defiety. Uh, but it's non-uniquely represented as, as differential equations. So you have different embedding conjects and the, the charts co corresponding between them are actually non-locals. Okay, uh, so, but, but, but uh, if, if you don't want to think about embedding conjects, it's just saying that there's uh, inf uh, finitely many derelations between the generators and these relations uh, can be interpreted as uh, differential synergies, well, invariant differential equations between in those uh, generators. Okay, so how do we actually uh, do and solve the equivalence problem? So, uh, well, what do we solve? We would like to separate solutions uh, u to, to e uh, with respect to uh, g, uh, and uh, well, we exclude this set, set s. So, so graphs of those solutions shall, shall uh, uh, be outside s. So now we do the following. So we take invariance i and number of i, um, and well, that's some finite number uh, of, of those invariants, let's say cardinality n. Um, and then we, as, as before, identify a um, uh, solution with the graph um, of well, base lifted to jets. And then we restrict all those invariants, just compute invariants on those solutions. So what we will get, we get submanifolds in a space of dimension n. And uh, two, uh, two, two solutions are the same if, uh, if uh, the images are the same as unparametrized sets. Okay, so um, that's, um, uh, that's called signature, I think. Uh, um, uh, yeah. I, uh, I, I learned this uh, terminology from Peter Older. So, 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 so he has different approach to, to the equivalence problem, but it's pretty good uh, uh, word. Uh, which is actually used in Im image recognitions as they use mainly uh, discrete invariants, right? Which you can obtain as discretization of differential invariants, for example, but yes, that's kind of one of the applications. Okay, now uh, let's do counting. Uh, so. Uh, so, as I said, it's kind of differential equation, so we can try to do the same thing as before. So let's denote the number of differential invariants so for the less or equals nk by sk. Uh, uh, sorry for this y. Oh, it is dimension yk. I think it was supposed to be this q. Uh, so yes, so, so this y should be q. So that's just the mention of the um, of this equation. So. Um, uh, and uh, the difference between those uh, can, has to be interpreted as a uh, number of pure or decay differential invariants. Okay, uh, so it's ju just shift a, a bit. So, so, but it's more convenient. And then we form such a series. It's called Poincare function. And it, it appears in other contexts and singularities. There's so a convenient way just to, to do counting. Okay, and well, I mentioned singularity theory because actually uh, this question came from Vladimir Arnold and he conjectured that on many problems of analysis, PLD has to be rational. 
Uh, and this was actually verified in the case of uh, uh, different film group acting uh, in, in natural bundles by Sarkisian, and then for more general pseudo group in, in the context of global literacy theory by, by Valentin Vishagin and myself. Um, so, and uh, so it's rational, right? So we can represent, it's actually rational for a special kind under at least assumptions that, 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 that are here and most important transitive action on the base. Uh, so, uh, so it is actually some polynomial divided by function, well, y minus z power d, so it's only one pole. And the meaning of the numbers we see here, so, so there are some numbers involved, of course, in this R of z, but uh, the um, most important is the following. So, uh, so d, right, uh, that's kind of functional dimension, uh, uh, as we say, that's, that's not a function depending on that many variables up here. And how many functions? Well, that's actually c, which is r of 1. Okay, so so at least these two, two, two most important numbers are included in here. Okay, let me give you an example. So conformal structure. Yeah. When function we are Lagrange, what is it? Uh, uh, so, 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 so,
in certain operational combinations. Uh, so you really have to take rational com combinations. Yes, yes, yes. But because they can be weight, sometimes you have to be right. But is there, sorry, is there a meaning in which you can say that they are all generated somehow by the cotton tensor, kind of building block for all these rational variants? Um, well, the, the theorem doesn't help. I, 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 I rather believe so, but the theorem doesn't help. It's just, it just gives us count. And um, we're basically on the same page because we, we are discussing the generic conformal structure, sorry, the generic or whatever. So this invariance may not actually separate all models, and they will not, they will not separate them. Right? There will be a special matrix which will behave better as those invariants. Also, my approach and your approach. In my obvious because rational functions sometimes you divide by zero. Um, but also, uh, that's, that's not even yeah. for. For matrix, there's some matrix which are separated by elements of the kind here. You will end up in by tracing uh, of command derivatives. Okay. Uh, well, situation with n greater than three is just like Bitcoin wall, but but for, for n equal to four, this number is three. Right. So as we also discussed. Uh, so 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 from while you can extract precisely three numbers. And in fact, if you open uh, the book, um, Exact Solution of Einstein Field Equations and look just to section corresponding to while, so that you, you kind of can, can, can see it's over there. Those, those numbers from, from normal form of while. Okay, um, well, of course it's done for metric, but you can apportion towards the uh, freedom. Yes, that's, that's what I said more or less. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go further. Let's see how I'm doing in time. I'm actually doing okay. Um, right. Um, so, so uh, well, I, I talked about like this Lee Tracer approach to uh, to um, to do copy differential variance. Let me say a bit about Cartan approach because that's uh, closely related to parabolic. Uh, geometry where lots of people uh, in, in in this place are doing so um, well Cartan methods I just recalling it's of course very very much known but just slightly to, to do comparing uh, so we, we do con construction variant uh, co-frames and bookkeeping the freedom uh, so we start with some geometric structure Q uh, usually Cartan uh, uh, so encodes as exterior differential system from our viewpoint is just first order PD system uh, and and then you with this bookkeeping device for for fixing, fixing freedom actually gives you a tower of frame bundles. Okay, so um, so your geometric structure lives on them, and then by 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 adapting all possible frames, so you get first bundle and leave remnants of geometric structure above, and, and just continue. Uh, okay, uh, well, in principle, this tower need not to stop. It may go to infinity, but for many constructions, you will well, be interesting actually to, uh, well, uh, to, in the cases when it stops. Um, and this is so-called structures of finite type. Okay, the starting uh, construction for zero frames, uh, the zero frames is actually, uh, the, the first step is you get principal bundle. This one is, is, is yeah, it's, it's just, um, uh, the structure group will be subgroup of GL. Um, but then actually principal bundles will be obtained only sequentially. So P1 is principal over P0, but not over M. Can't really compose it. So you get structure group there, structure group here, actually structure group on this stage will be already a million, but well, you can't actually compose them in general. Okay, and uh, these go for some time. And then the structures of finite type, then you stop. And then final bundle, uh, actually get fiber bundle over M, still in general, not principal, right? Um, um, but this carries a canonical absolute parallelism. Uh, and uh, well, if it's equivalent, if you're in good stage, if you can good, do good normalization, then you can get Cartan connection, then P to M to the principal bundle. Um, um, uh, and uh, th that's good, but in general, it's just 
absolute parallelism, but that still allow you to solve equivalence problem. Okay, so how we do it? So, well, well here you have uh, uh, frames. I will change from co-frames to frames. It's just duality. So this CIJK will be basic invariance, differential invariance, and invariant differentiations will be this. Yes, so you start, start differentiating, and that's it, nothing more. Uh, but the story is that the CIJ are defined not on M, but on P. Okay, that's kind of essential difference. You start with manifold M, right? And you actually cannot restrict your, so of course the invariance you obtain, it depends on some jet of structure, yes, but also they depends on additional parameters, the structural group parameters. So they actually live upstairs. When you evaluate, you get function actually on bigger space here, right? Uh, so, well, some, some mostly related word from, uh, from classical algebra is covariance, and not invariance, but covariance. It depends on some additional parameters, and we should also know uh, how to change when you, when you apply group action. Okay, if you have some equivalence, like Cartan connection, you can actually pull them down. Yes, it's still a kind of work because, well, some of them are pulled down, and there's some, this actually is the ones which will be, uh, 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 generating invariants. Okay, and then also in this case, some invariant variations will be like vertical and they don't give anything. They will be just algebraic action. Well, we will get precisely M dimension of M uh, invariant derivations which will raise the order, which actually will end with operations. I think I will get, I will do it. It's an excellent. It's good. Oh, maybe next but one. Okay, so um, so here uh, I draw schematical diagram to, to to relate to approaches. So 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 if we do a jet approach uh, or like really trace approach, as I said, so so we had a uh, manifold. We have equation over it. Uh, it's it's in jet space, right? And basically the invariance will be as functions in here. So if you do Cartan approach, then we construct certain bundles. And in fact, well, people just talk about these bundles, but of course, uh, the, uh, you don't start with very particular, like metric or whatever, uh, with very particular geometric structure. It's actually generic, right? So, so there is, in construction, you differentiate it several times. So this thing actually has to also be pulled back to here because it's actually involves jet of those objects. And so you, you actually have this uh, uh, commutative diagram. Uh, and this, that's Cartan site and that's uh, uh, jet approach site. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what I say. Initially, Cartan and variance, uh, which I obtained there are, are functions all in here, right? On, on, on pullback of P to, to jets. Okay, so they live kind of on bigger space. Mm. Uh, Right, and uh, and this projection of Cartan invariance uh, from bundle actually to, to base, um, well, it, it's a uh, well known, well known procedure in, in Cartan reduction, uh, and this is achieved either by normalization or by invertization so of, of invariance. Uh, sometimes people do it locally, but actually it shall be done kind of also globally because well, it's it's structural group, it's algebraic, but uh, for example, like, well, this group is seldom any kind of group, alge nice algebraic group. Uh, well, it's uh, parabolic geometry is just parabolic subgroup, but then when reduction comes, it can be solvable. This is uh, uh, well seen in many examples in, in relativity when, when you do reductions. So quotient by it may not be actually well set. Like locally, of course, yes, but you actually would like to do globally, so, so there, there's no general theorem which guarantees that this is actually uh, easy to do with this quotient. Okay, um, so let's make an example, and I do the very, very basic example, uh, uh, Riemannian matrix. So, so we consider the Lee equation for the groups, equations for isometries, as in infinitesimal or finite. Uh, and just after one prolongation, we get Frobenio system for this. Well, that's because prolongation of uh, orthogonal algebra is trivial. 
uh, and compatibility of the Frobenius actually would mean that G is flat. So I talk about metrics that now means actually flat. Um, and the invariance will be derived from the curvature tensors and covariant derivatives by contractions. So, so um, okay. So, and uh, with the jet approach, so how we do count invariance, so there's a pseudo group is just all different morphisms, it's lifted to the bundles of uh, matrix. Again, I have to put either plus or some additional symbol here. So, just to restrict to, to, uh, to remove cone of the general structures. And then here are the Poincare functions, which encode all possible invariants. Ah, yeah, I have to just 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 notice that, like I said, that the only pole is in z equal to one, and it's visible here. But here, for bigger n than two, well, visibly there is poles in z equal to zero, but actually there is some consolation. It's just if I don't do this, then the formula becomes too complicated. So, so it becomes uh, yeah shorter if I introduce inessential pole. Okay, so um, Cartan, okay, so, so, so that's what, what you maximize. So, so, so here's a short, short, short uh, uh, example. So you do uh, orthogonal frame bundle over this and then actually get co co-frame there. Uh, so sigma is, um, um, uh, what's, what's it called? Um, soldering form, yes. And yes, uh, and then you uh, add, add omega form on, on the top and, and you get the structural relation of this kind. Okay, so well, I is curvature and uh, and that's, um, you start by, by, well, it may be not incompatible, so, so you apply this and all the invariants are read from structural functions and well, they, they, they will be involved, uh, so they will be expressed through curvature. Uh, okay, so, um, now, I'd like to talk about a bit different uh, geometric structures, right? They may not be holonomic, right? And an example is subramanian structure. So we have some non-holonomic distribution and metric defined only on this distribution. Okay, so let's try to think what happens with Lie equation in this case. Well, it's also finite type. Um, however, even in the more symmetric case, in the nicest case among these, the equation which we just get Lee, it's not uh, uh, compatible. We, we saw in Romanian station, most symmetric cases flat, you formulate equation, yes, it's compatible, you are done. And you, you, you know the, the, the maximal dimension of symmetries n plus one just two. Uh, so, so here it's actually never compatible. So, 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 so you have to do several uh, prolongation uh, projection steps with, with this thing. So, so let me do this example. So the most symmetric actually is uh, the following it takes sphere um, uh, of odd dimension in uh, two n plus one dimensional space. So then that's uh, classical uh, CR distribution. So uh, the maximal uh, sub bundle of tangent space which is invariant with respect to complex multiplication and that a restriction of the metric from outside. Well, I, I wrote FS for Fubini studio, but actually there's no need because I'm not going to quotient down. Okay, uh, so, uh, and uh, so for initial equation, so we write equation, oh, well, this M is the sphere, so it will be first order equation. Um, and uh, it's symbol, well, it, it doesn't know anything. So it's actually will just tells you uh, ON in the direction of bundle, and then additional RN plus one, two, two N plus one like translation. So if you think about matrix, so biggest block will consist of ON in the, there's additional some entry on, on diagonal and there's one column of arbitrary numbers. So that's this. Okay, then you do prolongation projection and already from the first commutators, uh, you pick up that uh, there is conformally symplectic structure. So, so far, you don't know it from the equation, but from first commutation, you already pick up that there is a conformally symplectic structure and this thing will be reduced to this, this still, still stays there, okay? Now, um, so uh, both these and these equations are well, just like symbols, they are infinite type, because you already can test for finite or infinite type for, for your Lie equation and it still say infinite at this moment. Why? Because these guys in here actually gives you rank one endomorphism. But already next prolongation projection actually uh, already reduced to this one. Um, 
uh, and uh, well, sitting usually diagonally uh, inside uh, two n plus one uh, matrices, uh, two n plus one times two n plus one matrices, and uh, this already finite time, and actually then it stops. So this particular case, then it already becomes formally integrable. So this is quite inconvenient. So even if like for 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 very primitive structure, uh, like this for very very symmetric structure, you have to do steps of prolongation projections. That's definitely uh, not nice, right? So um, so on Cartan side, to overcome difficulty one, introduce filtration to the tangent space and change the prolongation procedure. Okay, so let me talk about this. That's actually uh, uh, called Tanaka theory. So, but let me just start, uh, so think, uh, recall uh, about um, uh, Tanaka algebra. Okay, so we take distribution uh, and we do it uh, with the right flag. So we do bracketing, bracket we do with only with the original distribution, it's kind of smallest possible flag. And that's uh, bigger and bigger distributions. We assume regularity, so, so all these things have the same rank. Uh, and uh, com completely non holonomic means at certain point you reach the entire attention space. Then we do quotient, and so here some people ask well, why actually we do change of sign because like this have positive and uh, actually yes. So this index I will be actually negative here. Um, uh, it will be clear in a moment actually why we do it. So, so then we form, form uh, uh, this space and uh, this has natural structure of gradient point algebra. Okay, so we actually can have commutators of course to commute like sections of delta unit vector fields, but because we do quotient, so the result depends only on, on values, it's tensorial. Okay, and delta is called strongly uh, regular, not only if ranks are the same, it's just usual regularity, but also the Lie algebra structure of this is independent of, of the point on the fault. Okay, and Tanaka algebra is the following. So we have this negative piece, and then we extend it to positive piece. And we do it by the following rule. So, so here, uh, elements of GK will be homomorphisms from GI to GK plus I, which satisfy Leibniz rule. Yes. So, so uh, that's very constructive. You can do it like this. Sometimes people say it's just um, maximal uh, graded Lie algebra, which contains M as G minus. That's also possible, but that's very constructive. That's actually how things are computed in Maple and so forth, right? But the story is that, of course, this can go to plus infinity and then the answer, uh, because, well, we often it just goes to there and uh, the convention is just mostly plus. So if you have very many GI, you choose conventions that mostly have pluses. Uh, but actually for, for, for the structure, we consider it seldom goes that far. Yes, that's, that's, that is this variation on the story. So sometimes you can actually take, G, so, so what is G0 with this approach? When you talk about K equal to zero, there's just uh, great degree zero derivations, right? Because that's derivation rule. So we talk about degree zero G derivations. Uh, and, um, uh, and this is easily computable. And also because G minus one, I don't remember if I say it or not. Well, actually it's, 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 it's coming from here. It's generates the entire M, G, entire G minus. Uh, so endomorphism, uh, so this is G0 embeds in endomorphism of G minus. But you may want sometimes to reduce it even stronger uh, and then do prolongation. So you actually, even though you compute G0, you, 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 you impose stronger reduction here and then do prolongation. And sometimes you do even more. You can do reductions on a higher step. That's also useful. Okay, that's Tanaka prolongation. So, so, so what does Tanaka series and does? Well, it constructs very similar sum frames, but it's a partial frames. And, but story is very similar to Cartan. And um, well, zero frames, again, is principal bundle. Um, uh, and that's easy to identify actually with frames. The other thing uh, um, are frames modular something. So that's already a bit uh, a involved procedure. Okay, uh, and that's the same story. So, so these bundles are principal only sequentially, but you just do a go prolongation. And finally, uh, you, in finite type case, you actually stop somewhere. And you also get absolute parallelism, and this allows to solve equivalence problem. Now, 
um, in addition to this, it also gives a bound to uh, to the symmetry algebra because symmetry of absolute parallelism is uh, is determined by uh, by its actually uh, zero jet. So so just the symmetry algebra or group uh, doesn't have a dimension greater than the this this manifold. Okay, so here it is. Well, in Tanaka theory, actually, this is proved in assumptions of strong irregularity, which sometimes is very restrictive. It's not general position property. The, the, the statement is that actually that's true always. So, so you, you don't need a strong assumption. Okay. Um, and we can also do finite type. It's determined through, again, some characteristic condition. Uh, again, rank one condition. So what you do, you take your algebra G0, and then you restrict it. You consider all those endomorphisms, which, well, they have to act non-trivially on G minus one, because it's, yeah, that's, that's a fundamental property, but you consider all those which act trivially on G minus two, G minus three, and so forth. So let's use G zero Dagger notation for this. And the Tanaka theorem tells that actually finite type corresponds to this having finite type in the sense of Sternberg rank one condition. So if you have rank one element, infinite type, if you don't, finite type. Okay, so, um, well, on the jet side, uh, the counterpart is given through the zero filter jets. So um, a filter stru structural manifold given by an whole vector distribution and finite number of the sexist reduction of generalized frame bundles PK. And the filtration of the bundle or on the tangent bundle to M induces point-wise filtration on maximal ideas in the algebra functions. If you remember, this gives actually uh, like uh, if you take powers of maximal ideas and quotient, this gives uh, precisely the fibers of uh, affine um, uh, bundles JK over JK minus one. So now you, you get additional filtration to the spaces. And uh, also the differential operators and jets, yes. So, so you get filtration on everything. And then um, uh, with this approach, so uh, the symmetry algebra uh, of a filter structure has, well, natural filtration, uh, which can be injected into uh, this GX, this um, uh, symbol of the equation, uh, prolonged to involutivity. Uh, this Injection depends on point, so but you can take any regular point which is open and set. Okay, so you have this kind of restriction. Uh, you can, and here I don't assume any strong regularity or, what, or whatever. And in fact, you can change sup to inf here, but well, under some additional assumptions. Okay, so let me give you. One example, um, so it's extended and point correct structure. Uh, so we'll take a metric vector space uh, and uh, it's a spin module. Uh, and then uh, the M will be G minus one plus G minus two. Uh, G minus two will be V vectors and G minus one is some number of this SS inners. Okay, so, um, and uh, and then you actually interesting in the question uh, of brackets, right? So you'd like to have these brackets, uh, and you want them to be well. There's always some bracket from uh, S tensor S to V, but they can be symmetric or skew symmetric, right? So you have to kind of classify skew symmetric and uh, 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 how many of them. This we classify by uh, Alexievsky Cortez. Uh, and so under uh, those conditions, which I don't specify here, so you can, uh, well, turn this into the algebra, write it in your potent in it. And also you add up SOV, this is called an extended Poincaré algebra. When? Why we take lambda two, G minus one? Well, because we need brackets. G minus one bracket, G minus one go to G minus two. Right, but is it a super, super? No, no, that's, that's yeah, actually like my, my next actually will be about super, uh, but that's classical, that's usual, uh, which product, yes. Okay, so, um, 
Uh, so we have to do prolongation, and in this case, actual prolongation is not long. Uh, so this we computed by uh, Andrea Altamani and Andrea Santi. Uh, and uh, mostly they are just uh, adding G0. G0 can be bigger, right? Well, definitely it contains, in addition to SOV, which clearly acts on the story, this contains also gradient element, but also it contains this thing, G0 dagger, which I said. So those things which acts on G minus one, but not on G minus two. Okay, but then in most cases, prolongation stops, and here is all exceptions. Okay, two, two serious and two exceptional cases. And this is a parabolic thing, and these have gradations from G minus two to G plus two, right? So in this case, the prolongation goes to here, right? And then in this case, of course, well, we, we restrict the symmetry. So, um, so this gives you the, the bound for symmetry algebra of the whole on the geometry. Um, one can also compute the maximal symmetry dimension sigma. So for a parabolic case, this uh, comes from the joint work with Dana Stem. Um, uh, actually, for non-exceptional case, I did not look to the scale fully. This, this it can be done through filter deformations, but I haven't looked for precisely to the, to the answer. It also would be nice to know. Uh, so I think I'm done here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Questions? Uh, this is uh, Alexievsky and Cortez. Why did they consider these n extended Poincare structures? What's the oh. geometry? What, in what sort of situation? Uh, I don't know what. Well, that's, 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 that's physics is very much interesting in this algebra. That's kind of uh, killing algebra for them. So, uh, but not in the super context. Uh, so I think it's used in the super symmetry. Uh, the AV box. Uh, I, I discussed super symmetry. So, so, so there's also super Poincare algebras. Uh, I'll discuss it next time. Yes, it's, it's also an interesting story. So, uh, as, as I said, uh, the brackets S, uh, S to V will be uh, like a symmetric or skew symmetry, depends on the type of skin or model. And well, symmetric cross ones also play. Yes. I'm sorry, in, the, in this case, so the symbol in where, where the prolongation vanishes, or where it stops at, at G0, are the, the symbols there constant or are there moduli in the brackets that you consider? Oh, that's purely algebraic. Uh, that's so, 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 so there are some moduli which specifies the brackets, right? Uh, so the symbols are just they, they, they just explain by this up. Ah, like this thing. Yes, it actually depends. I didn't specify how to compute this. It, it, it depends on those brackets. And, and you allow for changing symbol in this in these results where you found the symmetry dimension. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yes. yes. So that's a kind of relation. That, that's the thing I didn't look at. Well, you know, those these things actually, the symbols are okay. So, so we know all of them. But yes, that's a relation there. Yes, the, 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 that's algebraic parameters. Yeah. Because I mean, if you assume that the symbol itself is, is fixed, and then you get a canonical connection on these guys. I mean, yeah, okay. Given that you find the normalization condition. Yeah. Other questions? Maybe I will ask this one. So in, in the Cartan uh, uh, theory, then there, there is the normalization, right? And you choose something. Uh, uh, it's also rational. No. So there is very often people like uh, uh, see how structural group acts on something like on coefficients of wild tensor of of of, of reach or of the liberality for reach, right? And then see, okay, this coefficient changes. So how else would it equal to one? Okay, and then normalization gives you, of course, uh, fixing group parameter, and this leads to actually to square roots or, or some other uh, non-rational expressions. So this actually, uh, in my understanding, is the following. So you just look to local foliation by the, the, the orbits of group and you kind of do the fixation. Uh, the structure of orbits is more complicated than the past. 
for example, can do like fleet uh, telecom back. So, so, so you and uh, this is actually not in there, right? They kind of some global environments. One global environment, you still have to work, so work with those. Uh, yes. So we have a bit more time. Can, can you maybe sh explain shortly how you construct the star group on the solid not theory? Not the theory. <laughs> uh, um, right. So um, we, uh, well, how, how do we uh, usually do the uh, uh, in, 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 in Carton case, right? So, so we have some model space and then we, have, we, can, we can see the isomorphism. Okay, that's usual, uh, well, meaningful time and tangent space time, and, 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 and it's a whole, whole possible isomorphism, and uh, yeah, that's, that's our phrase. Uh, if, if this carries some, some traditional structures model, like Euclid and whatever, then it would like to say the one should be the structure. Now, here is a similar story. Our model space will be this, uh, this M. Okay, so we would like to have uh, for, for G0 step, we would like to have this as all right? But that's just graded. And ultimately, we would like actually to have everything filtered because gradation, well, you see that actually natural thing is filtration, then it has on gradation. So then we try to extend this. Okay, so the next thing, then we go to G1. Uh, Right, so, so that if you look from here, right, so G1 will be mapped from uh, G minus 1 to G0, G minus to G2 to G minus, uh, to G minus 1, and so forth. So now you would like actually to um, have your um, frames to be a bit more like actual vectors, right? So they will be less quotient. So uh, because well, you, you do quotient in here, and the next step actually look at the quotient G minus 1 by G minus I minus 2. Okay, so it will look like vector fields are already a bit fixed uh, a tail. Okay, then on the next step, you fix even more tails. Okay, if, if prolongation is infinite, it doesn't help you. But if prolongation stops, then as, as a certain start prolongation, there is homomorphism, and you still continue this procedure and fix more and more tails. And then actually, uh, you, you get a vector field that can only go. But if it's infinite, actually, it's still okay because on any finite jet, 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 jet uh, order, well, after some moment, you actually fix all tails, right? So you will not be able to get a frame, but you will get some like infinite number of factors to, 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 to reach some, something is already constructed. So you're still able to compute. So, so there's still an evolution, right? So even though the prolongation goes to infinite uh, uh, level, right? Whenever you do computation on finite stage, you actually can compute all commutators and everything, and this gives you real invariance. And this corresponds to uh, some coronation theorems, of course. So there's already an evolution of a finite number of steps.